All right. Let me think about what to chat about. <laughs> I don't really know what to think. Like what? Uh, there's like a topic worth chatting about right now. Um, I could tell you about the dominating thoughts of my mind, which I should be controlling and directing. And that is true, actually, now that I think about it. I definitely am slacking in that category. Maybe I should brush up on my affirmations and rewrite a clearer picture of the lifestyle I most wish to wake up to daily. Because right now, it's like that man who thinks of nothing becomes nothing vibes. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm kind of feeling that and it's, it's not bad. It's not like, uh, it's not harmful. I'm not, I don't have any weight on me. Uh, I can pretty much effortlessly enjoy whatever I'd like to focus on. So that's very healthy. Um, there is though this like image I have of like where maybe I would like to be at this point in my days. And, um, so I guess I can compare myself to, past me's version of what I wished or where I would wished I would uh, or envisioned I would be at this point but it's really weird as if I'm some master of time I, I literally we, we wake up and we are a day older I don't even know I think we age based off of maybe also what we consume or put through our bodies <laughs> so like who's to say like you know like some people probably go through the day aging one tenth of a day you know, because of maybe their, their constructive habits. Um, and I think that I wasn't actually even thinking to transition this into a health type thing, but, um, oh gosh. Yeah. So I want to be clearer with my intent of how I want to spend my days. Cause I'm like pretty okay with where I'm at right now, but it definitely is not in harmony with the most desired future that I wish to have for myself, like my, my own workspace and uh, like my own private place to wake up at. It's a big one because um, I'm like torn right now with this whole like, well, if I rent, I'm never going to own something. Um, and I have dependencies. So it's like a weaker environment because now I don't really have my privacy maybe I rent a place that's next door to other people, or maybe, you know what I mean? So versus just like, say, renting a home. I'm like, if I'm renting a home, I may as well fucking be paying for a home. Uh, I'm just buying one. Um, versus like, oh, maybe I just get um, like something I rent that I go, I can go to sleep at that's like a very kind of inexpensive apartment while at the same time I have a, like a workspace to go to. And I'm like, well, if I'm gonna be spending that kind of expense, I need to be moving somewhere that I actually would like to show up to. And then I start going down that path of where would I actually like to wake up? <laughs> and then I'll, like, then I'll like, I'll run through this list of like, it's almost like a default of like people I'd like to be around. And then I'm like, past friends and people I've met or like, and I'm just, then it comes down to, well, I want to be in alignment with my goals and my interests. So uh, where do I know where people, <laughs> where people most... It doesn't really matter where anyone else is doing anything. It's really what where you wish to do it at, I think. So that's it. Um, clarifying where I wish to wake up every day for myself, for my goals. And uh, that probably comes down to clarity of my personal goals. Uh, clarity of my goals. Um, clarity of my goals. And I don't think that's a... It's not a geographical thing I don't have goals based on like where in the world I, I don't have goals that require me to be anywhere specific if I unless I'm like to study production and I want to go to icon collective then yeah I should probably be in Burbank or something like that um, versus if I want to go to lambda and study acting I should probably be in the UK um, so there's that but I don't really also want to be a part of some system that like I think that I need to just find maybe like not over over uh, expect or like over aim for a, like a too big of a goal, which I mean I can't have anything I want, but in specific time frames again I, I don't I'm not like a time wizard, 
Um, so it's kind of weird to gauge what's most appropriate. Uh, I guess anything you want to work towards, so it's an effort effort thing. Um, so I'm thinking like, huh, I would like to have a really nice apartment in Los Angeles. That's something that would just be fun to me. Um, at the same time, that area can get very, very dull. And there's like really weird compromises to living out there. So I don't know if it's actually necessary or would be in my best interest to be there. Um, to where like, I think having my own humble place here in Michigan and um, just relaxing uh, uninterrupted for a good three to six months span of time and then leveraging what, what's best from there on out. I think that would be a fun thing. Like, you know, acquiring skill sets, uh, showing up to my regular practices or like a show that I create for people, um, honing my skills and my ability to, to like share the art that I like to play or perform. And, um, yeah, I think whatever is least demanding on my pockets, <laughs> but, um, also most in alignment with my peace so I can actually work towards my goals and actually and progress. So, so the goal is progression, um, progression and uh yeah so all right <laughs> that's just my thoughts on where i want to i want to leave um currently in my hometown where i grew up and it's not very enjoyable um this whole covid thing definitely um i don't really know it was just, it's like fear and uncertainty and that like causes different actual like actions to be taken and i don't like that factor about it so um kind of done <laughs> with that but uh it's no excuse not to show up to the old grindstone and actually um contribute to your habits so i am going to start building some good habits that align me more with my goal progressive habits practice studies bam all right, that's about all I want to say for the day. Take care. Spass Reynolds out.